okay so today uh, we are going to cover some uh, one thing that is fetch data from the server the api right so in the class based component so uh, that i want to show one demo but uh, i want to make sure one thing that in your system react dev tools that is installed or is present or not i'm just sharing my screen this thing my screen is visible can i please uh, confirm this thing yeah? this one You have to in, uh, add this thing from your extension, right? So what happened? It means in our code means if you see that is one simple code. So if you debug or if you uh, see that div element, so everything in the HTML, right? We cannot understood that from where which component it's coming or how we can get the value from which component. So if you install these things in your system add as the add-ons so you can get this type of means in that components right so components will get no hello minute yeah so you can get that in the app and props the props i'm not added so that so this kind of thing, uh, things you will get. So you can understand that from which component, what props, what state I have used inside that, right? So that will be very helpful. So I recommend that uh, React developers tools that you have to add in your system. Now um, I will one uh, small demo that is for fetch the data from API and that data will show in the table and table has edit button and we have to edit this row that how we can do in the react and that is class based component so let's start so I'll remove this thing So in functional component, what we'll write that uh, function and then class name, right? And the function name. Now in the class based component, we have to create the class and extend React dot component. That means my app class. I am allowing to access React component properties method in my class. You can see render method is there. So earlier we have to add the return. In the return, we have to return the D by JSX syntaxes over there and we're going to execute the things. But in that app, we have to extend the React component. Otherwise, if we remove this thing, so render is not coming by default, right? In the class, because it cannot recognize what is render in the class. But when we extend that, React dot component render method is coming. That means it's a method from the React component. I'm allowing my app to add inside my application. That hello. Okay. Now I'm read render. And if I write function component, write one function component one app. There I have to add return. Re re render I have not added in the function component. But here I have to add render inside the render method. I have to add return. And what I will do? I will create one div. Anything you can pick div or react fragment. 
मी क्लास क्लास नेम क्लास नेम आई हैव एडिट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अदर कंपोनेंट एंड दैट विल ऐड ओवर हियर सो लेट्स सी व्हाट विल डू आई विल क्रिएट ऑन Yeah, I'll create one. Import React from React and import our class. if you will component if you add over here you have to input otherwise you can do react dot component and then have to render and return and what i'll do i have to export export default about data the app app being put for the data from dot for the data about data and Pass that one props. That is a heading I have to pass from here. Okay. Export the string. Export default app. That I have to export to the server data. I have to write the logic and. What I'll create? Uh, I have to create one environment file inside the env environment dot js. I have to create. Dot mm. js. So in API REST API, what is uh, the the REST API? HTTP is something vt dot com slash some value is value right. So this is my base URL. This is my base URL and rest of the things. Uh, you if you calling the function name, the base URL and function name create the rest of it. So this base URL I will keep aside in that environment just when. So tomorrow my base URL might be changed. Base URL might be dynamic. Or it can be uh, built as per the environment. So that's why best practice is that. You have you should keep the base URL in the other side. My API I collect it from the W three C tool, and there is the publicly available. There is no any. I have to do nothing. Just add the C V R L over here and export. Hold it. Env. That file I have created. 
what you will do the server data uh, i have to input the file and i will create my final api const api is equal to env class dot php my entire url should be like that I need to check this is working or not. That's right. That I have to grab in my React application. So my file I think not saved for the okay. Yes, no, it's there. Now one concept. Props and then super props. And here I will create my state first. So you all know that constructor is first. We are invoke the constructor, right? So that props and super props I can pass. So super props means that if I have two classes and I have to initiate something of some properties from the class A to the class B. And from the class B, we are going to make the new object. So that time super means that that will invoke that this object I can allow my class B from the class A. So in that that is the concept of super. And then constructor has been created for the class based component. We need one constructor. And inside the constructor, I will create the state and then this, this is the method constructor and other life cycle like here i will use component dead mount that life cycle i will use here for getting the value so now i'm creating the these which is it I'm taking one loader and making points.
um, I will write on const uh, first create the component did one method. So in the component did one method that this is life cycle in the React class based component. First constructor will be involved. And component did one will work when we call the component. After calling the component, that the first component will be rendered, and then component did mount will work. So I really updating the in the function component for getting the data from we are using that class component. And we need to require what? Axios package. So you can see Axios. So that required for you using uh calling the data from api so it's a http client module axios or you can use fetch or if you are using jquery like this kind of thing or javascript you can use xml http request jquery i suggest that no need means generally avoid in that react application because it's the third uh, we react we same thing we are uh, going to update in the React DOM only with the help of React syntax, React application. We no need to go for the DOM manipulation purpose, install that jQuery, adding the jQuery library. That is not recommended. So you are using either Axios or Fetch. So I'll install the Axios. So those are using from the laptop then npmi access you install same thing will be there so by the way what i will do this dot set state is loading false i will do is loading is true and we calling the api so in the jquery or javascript so you have to create the loader right that loader we need before calling the API and then when the data is coming from the server, we need to stop the loader loading. So that's why by default loading my loading is false. And now in the component did mount, I will collect the data. And the, before connecting to the axios, we need some loading should be false, uh, true. So loading loader should be there, right? Just have to this package. Import.
for the API get. We'll break the line, then we'll get the response. If response dot status 200, I'm clicking that. If I'll get the response, and I'll check also response status is 200. Hello? Yes, you're all of okay, You're all right? So yes, yes. Uh, this response yes. status, I, what I'll do, I'll put, I get the response and fill this array. I will push this our new object in the array. Records. Response dot data but records. I will take a record one minute. I don't know it's why the system is good. Um, I'll do one thing. Download this thing until I'll write because I think some problem. One minute. Because something is causing uh, problem in the codes and law. I write here.
Any questions on that part? Hello? Yes, you are. Yes. Uh, I'm asking, is there any questions in this part currently? So here we use gate and then we are applying hmm. then. So the gate uh, returns. Gate is a method the axios, okay. Axios. I've been I have con Your voice is breaking. Oh, I think you have the network access, issue right? from access your side. Ready. Your voice is breaking. You can see that. But import axios from axios, right? And Koshik, yeah, your uh, voice is breaking. Yeah. Again, join, okay? Just give me one minute. Hello. Now I am audible. Okay. Yes, yes. So, yes. So Axios I have installed, I have configured right in my system, and then in dot get is the method from Axios. You can see, so method right, and I will. Sorry, screen is oh, not oh, sure. sorry, sorry. Can you confirm my screen is visible or not, please? Yes. Yes. Uh, so Axios I have input, right? And from that Axios, I will get this method, get, Axios.get. So in the get method, I pass the API name. API name, how, from where I will get? That is my API name, angular customer.php, and here concatenate with the environment variable, right? So you can see that const environment, this is the API. I think in uh, environment only, we have to store the domain name. Hello, Kofi. Are you there? Yes. Hello. So this is the environment name, and that is my API name. So both I have concatenated in one place, right? And then the API is created. This API, what I will do? I will get the API and got the response right this response whatever i response i got that response 
dot records from records from where it will coming my screen is visible right yes and i am also audible right one minute yes so records from where i will collect records is there from the api you can see the records right in the records all the records name are showing right so what i will do that's why i have added response dot data dot records response is data from coming the api and then records loading i don't use any loading because the loading was there when the data was coming now i said the loading false i update the state is loading false okay is clear that what Kushik, your voice is breaking so we can't understand what exactly the concept of loading true and false And then I will this hello. So is loading you can see by default when I create the state that time is loading I said false. Okay. okay. Am I audible right now? Yes. Is loading false. Okay. Yes. So I this is my method. That method providing from the React. That is the life cycle hook method, right? Component did mount. Inside the component it mount that I am not created. You can see called if you hover, it tells called immediately after a component is mounted and setting state here will trigger re rendering. So that is the best place you have to call the API from class based component. And if you remember in the functional component, I used use effect hooks, right? Same thing. In class based component, I use component did mount. And component did mount, what I will do before calling the API is loading true, means loader keep going on until data is coming from the server and render in the view, right? That's why true. And I got the data. That means we no need to require any loading. So is loading, I kept it false and records. I earlier records were your empty array means then I have to add the records from the response data the records. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes. Yes, so Now what I will do in the render function. You know this structure records is loading this dot state. And I got the server data as a props, right? Remember from the server data app I passed the data. Now I'll write the logic if is loading done
you can see that loading is coming right means loading the logic i have had then return what i will do div as name Each one tell I will take one and we need to each one. And I will create one till. One and a class name. Mm -hmm. Koshi. Yes. Uh, can we? Why don't? Why are? Why we are not following the separation of concerns in uh, React? Like uh, we have HTML separate, CSS separate in Angular, right? Uh, so but class in, name I, like, I I am not writing the class. But that class name I have added. No, no, no. Separation of concern. That means uh, we are. You are not. Uh, separating the HTML part and uh, JS part. No, oh, it's a JSX, man. Nah. Okay, okay. JSX, we, we cannot separate. That is the in the React component, J, we use JSX. That means okay. JavaScript and HTML, we can both write in one place. And the render. Okay. But in Ang I think on build, it separates, now. Nah. Huh? Huh? When we build, so uh, then it creates the structure. Now, when we build the this uh, uh, application, so then it creates the structure, right? Uh, so it separates the CSS and all that, right? We no need to concern with, uh, mm -hmm. we no need to be concerned with that, right? Oh, CSS, yes. yes. Yes, and also keep that um, if any other CSS is required, so I add the CSS file over here. So, multiple ways you can add the CSS in the React. You can use inline CSS, you can use HTML CSS, you can use that thing. Okay. So, whatever you are doing, but it's a JSS part, so we can configure both JavaScript and JS. So, you want JS HTML part should be there different. Hello, uh, yes, yes, yes. So, HTML part here we have to configure both things because uh, in the JSS you can write okay. JS part and JavaScript part. It's you can see the JS inside the JS. I'm writing even you are using the TSX file, then also you can write these things. Okay, okay. but if you want to configure, mean, uh, like create some buttons, widgets, right. That okay. time create one template from that template we can write, but that also be JSS. JS. We no need to consider any HTML part. HTML only one. That is public index.html. Okay, okay. Okay. However, however, the complexity, whatever the complexity, we are uh, writing the template inside the JS only. Uh, means. If you suppose there is a complex UI, complex template. Yeah. 
so i'm telling means if in your ui some buttons are there right some oh, yes. pop ups are there right yes, so yes. you will keep one thing widgets you can create one widgets folder the widgets folder okay. button button one template you can create with parameter right yes yes so you have to call because it's a component you have to call the button and pass the parameter let's suppose that you want large button required you want small button required right the mm -hmm. color also be being blue so that should be a parameter okay yes. and you have to pass that and that will be rendered so my own one template is there with the parameter i can pass and create okay okay, okay. But until and unless everything is JS here in the React. Okay. I don't know what to do. That is a heading. A heading I got it from a main city country. And here I will put an edit button. Now in P body, what I will do? I will create separate component. P body. Now P body. Records. That records mean this is the record. Dot map. What I will do, I will return one separate component. That is table two. And I will pass the data inside this component okay you can do what i will do x in the top i will pass the value and here key Now what I will do, I will create one component. That is your table row dot js. Table row dot js. I'll create one 
system here react home react class table row extends react dot component and in the constructor What I will do, I will pass the data from my table to my table row component from this component. Okay, so to import. So table row component will pass this thing. What is this? This is table. Thank you. 
And the table row and pass this data and here I have to bind the value. What I will do in the render method? I am not taking anything correctly. The render method. Just written here, here, B, C, D, one data set name. Not no. copy. I yeah, will take one TD inside the TD. Just one button. No. Edit. Let's see. I don't record currently. Let's check one seven. It will not require a delay. Really? That value I get, right? I'm not adding any edit functionality. That normally. Uh, this name TT country that is any question on that part. So keep aside this table row component, you have to pass that hello for me. And different component I have created. And here I will button and the name I will pass it as per the data listed. Okay.
Edit possibility also be created. We got some time. Hello. Yes, go ahead. So you got to write this thing. Is there any question? Great, and because today the system is not working, and very good. So up to that, next time, next day, that edit functionality, that button, and some CSS, and okay. Or you, if you have any questions, you can connect to me and you can ask me now. The CSS part I have to add and button from the right, edit from the right, that I have to add. Yeah, at for now, no question, Koshik. We'll ask you. So yes. are we, you were able to stay 10 or 15 minutes more, so this flow I will create, I will complete the model and then get the value from the other. If you have time, so then I will connect. Yes, then I will continue. 10 to 15 minutes are different. Are we all there? Then I will show you. Hello. Yeah. Uh, up, uh, next day, can you Next day. Ha, next day, we have other topics also be covered, na. Next day. So what I will do in the next day, I will keep ready my code and I will demonstrate. Not doing in front of you, okay? Because yes, other sir. topics I have to come. Okay. That part. Okay. So yes. from the next day, one new topic I will introduce, and this part I will show you, ma'am. That. You understood that code, how to create the API, I means that API functionality is how to connect from the class-based component. As today's demo is this, we're totally on that class-based component I've created, right? So functional yes. component, class-based component, two part you have done. So next day, that uh, one new topic I will introduce, something we have this kind of thing, okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And I'll add the code in your drive with the entire code base, okay? Okay. With the class CSS, I'll add and I'll update. Thank you all. Bye.